Colorado, nestled in a crevice on the roof of our continent, is a terminus for a unique and colorful railroad. The Silverton train, the last narrow-gauge passenger train operating on a schedule. On train days, the Durango depot is humming with activity. As the train gets underway, the conductor collects the old-time tickets for the nostalgic journey to Silverton. It is an unbelievable journey. We leave civilization behind for the past as we move into a region of unspoiled natural grandeur where miles stand on end. Heading north out of Durango, the line follows the churning Animas River, which carved the Rio de las Animas Canyon through which we shall travel. This unforgettable ride through colorful chasms of jagged rock past rushing rapids and waterfalls is one of the most spectacular routes traversed by a railroad. More coal is needed as the grade increases, for our engine is no modern diesel, but a genuine coal-burning steam locomotive. But our iron horse is very sure-footed, old though she may be. Everything about the trip proves a fascination to the youngsters who revel in their first experience with old-time railroading, a souvenir of an all-but-vanished era. In the 19th century, narrow-gauge tracks extended 16,000 miles throughout the country, spanning 42 states. Down through the years, the narrow-gauge was replaced. Until now, the Silverton branch is the only narrow-gauge left to carry passengers. This is a stop that has almost vanished from American railroading, the water stop. The train makes this stop to replenish its diminishing water supply, essential for the generation of steam. Then it moves on to resume its climb amid billowing plumes of black smoke. The train has almost completed its journey of three and a half hours, a climb of more than a half a mile in altitude. Silverton, the mining camp that never quit, lies in a small valley between 14,000 foot peaks. In Silverton, visitors can see an original pioneer setting, little changed since the 1880s. Old streets and buildings are reminiscent of the days when $500 million in silver, gold, lead, and zinc were mined here. Visitors are reluctant to depart, but it's time to leave Silverton for the return trip back to Durango. The engineer oils up the locomotive in a ceremony as necessary as it is ritualistic. From the mountain peak, we look down upon a panorama of breathtaking beauty as the train moves out and away from the past. And although twilight has descended on the narrow gauge, the Silverton remains to wend its way among the nostalgic milestones of the century.